comparing numbers to 1,000. It's lesson 9.8. Back in video 3.13, we learned about less than and greater than. Remember the big mouth eats the big number? 7 is larger than the 5, so 5 is less than 7. And 5 is larger than the 4, so 5 is greater than 4. And the big mouth faces like it's going to eat the big number. See? To compare three-digit numbers, we start with the numbers in the hundreds place. We compare them. If the hundreds are the same, we compare the numbers in the tens place. Well, if the numbers in the tens place are also the same, then we compare the numbers in the ones place. And I'll show you. Okay? So, here we have two different sets of models here. And we've got these and we've got these. We've got one, two, three hundreds, two tens, and five ones. We have 325. On this side, we only have 100 and three tens and seven ones. We have 137. 325 is greater than 137. There's more hundreds. We can see that right away. We compare the hundreds and say, okay, just comparing hundreds, we could see that this one's greater, and we write a greater than sign. Okay? Now look at this one. We have one, two hundreds, three tens, and four ones. We have two hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. If we wanted to compare them, they have the same amount of hundreds. They even have the same amount of tens. We have to go to the ones place to compare them for less than, greater than. 234 is less than 238. We write it with a less than symbol. They've got the same amount of hundreds. They have the same amount of tens. So we compare the ones. There's only four ones and there's eight ones. So that one's greater. See? So 234 is less than 238. We had to keep going to each place value until we found a way to compare them to find a difference, didn't we? So let's see if we can do this. We need to circle greater than or less than. Is 126, is that greater than or less than 253? And look at the hundreds place. This has 100, that has 200. So this is less. It doesn't have as many hundreds, does it? So this is less than 253. Let's try this one. 941 is greater than or less than 945. They've got the same hundreds. They've got a 9. They've got the same tens. There's a 4. So we go to the ones place that has 1 1. That has 5 ones. So 941 is less than 945, isn't it? Let's try this one. 764 is greater than or less than 774. They both have 7 in the hundreds place, so we go to the tens place. This has a 6, that has a 7. 764, that's less tens, isn't it? That's not as many as 7 is less than 774. Let's try this one. 630 is greater than or less than 603. They've both got 6 in the hundreds place, so let's look at the tens place. This has a 3 in the tens place. This has a 0 in the tens place. So right away we can see that this has more tens, so this one is greater than. 630 is greater than 603. We can tell which one is the less than symbol. I talked about this before. This is the less than symbol. It almost looks like it's a slanted L for less than. See that? If it was going the other way, it wouldn't look like an L, would it? So you know that this is the less than symbol because it's the one that actually looks like it's spelling less. See, like that? All right, so let's write greater than or less than for these numbers. We'll compare the hundreds, then we'll compare the tens, and then we'll compare the ones if we have to. 574, 547. 
Do you know which sign would go in here? Which number is greater? And the sign has its open mouth facing the greater number. And if you said it's greater than, you're right, because this has seven tens. This has only four tens. See that? Which one's greater here? 833 or 803? They both have eight in the hundreds place, so we look at the tens place. This has a three, this has a zero. We know this one's greater. 833 is greater than 803. Let's try this one. 215, 251. They both have a two in the hundreds place, so let's look at the tens place. This has one ten, this has five tens. Big mouth eats big number, so the big mouth is going to face that way, isn't it? So 215 is less than 251. Let's try this one. 622, 625. What symbol goes in here? They both have six in the hundreds place. They both have a two in the tens place. So we have to look at the ones place. This has two in the ones place. This has five in the ones place. And 2 is not as much as 5, so this is less. 622 is less than 625. Okay? Let's try some problem-solving skills. We're going to use the clues to find a n missing number. So here's the first clue. It's less than 720. Our next clue is it's greater than 718. So if it's less than 720, it can't be 720. And if it's greater than 718, then it can't be 718. Do you know the number that comes in between here? What the number is? What number comes after 718? If you said 719, you're right. That is less than 720. And that is greater than 718. Okay, let's try one more. Here's our first clue. It's greater than 347. All right, well, that means it can't be 347. It's bigger than that number. Its next clue is it is less than 351. So it can't be 351, and it's got to be smaller than 351. We know it's got to be bigger than 347. The next clue is it has a 5 in the tens place. Well, what are the numbers that are in between 347 and 351? Let's write them. We go 347, 348, 349, 350, but then it says it's less than 351, so it can't be that. And it says it has a 5 in the tens place. So which of these has a 5 in the tens place? Well, the only one of our three choices would be this one, 350, right? If you have a problem like this that you have to solve, you can make a list of possible answers and then look at the clues to see which one fits the clues, okay? Sometimes making a list is a good way to solve a problem, all right? So that's comparing numbers to a thousand with less than and greater than. Just remember the big mouth eats the big number and you know it's the less than symbol because it looks like an L, like a little bit crooked L that's less than, okay? And then the other one's greater than. We're going to continue talking about patterns and numbers to a thousand. And I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.